Hi there, everybody. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for staying up late with us for this week's TCM Import. This week, in keeping with our seasonal theme, we have a peculiar French horror film from 1960, Eyes Without a Face. In the latter part of the 1950s, England's Hammer Studios was churning out low-budget horror films, movies with titles like The Curse of Frankenstein and Die, Die, My Darling. Many of these Hammer movies were popular in France, so French producer Jules Bourcon decided he'd make a horror movie of his own. But you know the French. These are the people who turn cheese into an art form and can turn a simple response to a very simple question into a cutting insult. So the French weren't going to produce another Curse of Frankenstein sequel. Producer Jules Borcon turned around and hired a real director, George Franzou, and together they produced what's been called one of the most poetic horror films ever made. It's the story of a brilliant surgeon determined to restore the beauty of his disfigured daughter even if it means he has to kill other young women in the process. The film received mixed reviews. Nobody thought much of it when released in the early 60s. Here in the States, a dubbed version was released with the title The Horror Chamber of Dr. Faustus, and it played on a double bill with the manster about a guy who grows two heads. So people showed up at the theater expecting another cheapy horror film and maybe missed the poetry. However, today it has the respect it deserves from 1960, starring Pierre Boisseur and Alita Valley, with a score by Maurice Jarre, Eyes Without a Face. The director of Eyes Without a Face, Georges Franzou, began his career as a film archivist. In 1936, Franzou co-founded with Henri Langlois the Cinémathèque Française, which would become France's most famous and important film archive. He made his solo directing debut in 1949 with the short film Blood of the Beasts, which was notable for its juxtaposition of scenes set in a slaughterhouse with scenes of children laughing and playing. When it was released, Eyes Without a Face made quite an impression on some moviegoers. When it was shown at the Edinburgh Film Festival, several audience members fainted during the infamous facelift scene. You remember the one where that face was actually lifted off the body. The film was not taken seriously at first, but over the years has gained a reputation as being one of the finest horror films of its time. Up next, a Japanese film telling four different stories, all with a supernatural theme. 